Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Could you go for like a an SF type situation, going for like the blink yours type build? You're the one who can just jump in. Again, it's very, it feels very clunky. Look, the right crew for the jump. Yes. The main reason for the Jakira pick is because it's the counter to the Tusk, right? In lane, the sure. tag team, you the attack slow, so it's going to enable that Sven. Crush through the map, as we've seen other teams utilize Wisp mm -hmm. and do yep. so. You know, you can just play too high tempo, right? Arc Warden's not going to be able to get out on map. And if Doom's on cooldown, like, you have no fear from this hero. EG suffer in a sense that they're somewhat cooldown reliant, and it could punish them. I just... Yeah, but the Arc Warden, the fail safe, the eventual alliance high ground. fine. Arc They're going to bulldoze their way through. Uh, no problem at all. all. Either all right. that or RTZ Arc Warden's going to carry us over. We'll see how they do in game number one. Alliance versus Evil Geniuses, a matchup that has gone the test of time in Dota 2, and at least one person has a little bit more experience it than the others, but we're going to watch FNG give away the first blood before we talk about... Oh no, that's actually second. Oh! Major lane winner, right? Any melee hero that goes up against Jakiro is probably going to lose. Uh, Hanskin missing out on that LSA. Nice juke there from Crit. He may still die as S4 indeed is able to pick up that kill. Turn... What other heroes are really popular in Aghanim's Labyrinth? Viper's really good, right? Tusk. Every game. Tusk. Every yep. game, yeah. For this reason, look at the damage. He's very, very dead here. Or at least I thought he was dead. The snowball onto him, but he still has to fairy fire. That orb of venom might just get the kill. Crit needs that last hit, and he gets it right before the LSA stuns him. Gonna take some tower shots while he has the bottle. Gotta be careful he doesn't take too much, though. Just but trying to keep that siege creep damage. alive. This was not worth it, Limp. Ah. Uh, so nice kill from GBK. Unfortunately, there's not really any tower pressure that can amount from that, but mm -hmm. he's coming from base anyway, so may as well. Oh, the Doom comes out from Ramses. And with that again, ink swell, they're going to be able to run him down. Now, FNG is going to provide a little bit of heals here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough with Crit here to seal the deal. Now, there is going to be a lot of heroes still coming in here. The TP out from S4, but they don't really have any stuns. Uh, what happens if he gets kited by the Void Spirit. You know, there's Tusk Shards, there's Snowball, like, there's yeah. a lot. Well, Walrus Punch is a big one, right? Just that that slight disengage where we could see Crit is trying to get that Walrus Punch off. Does manage to do so, but he's going to lose his life to the Laguna Blade. Now, Alliance finally see their opportunity. If you have the ability to poke at this mid-tower, and you're going to take it eventually, abuse that fact. It's better than Dragonite, honestly, with the level 10 talent. Like, look how far away he is. Hanskin, going to be slowed down by the Flux here. Very likely dead, Hanskin. Gonna be able to turn around, get out the LSA. Nice double soul blind into the silence as well. GPK getting some nice damage in, but both of those heroes are super tanky, and as a result, he eventually runs out of damage and has to run down the river. But now Sven's here, and he got the double stun into the ice path as well. A little bit extra damage. GPK, he'll fall. No more mobility left in the tank and alliance. They're just gonna swarm into this mid lane. Evil geniuses. They have certainly lost that tower, and they may be losing more lives as well. Fly eventually dies. Nico baby just keeps on hunting here because why not this man at at this point like with an io behind him he's looking kind of unstoppable and he does manage to find ramses here almost into the tier three they're looking for these kills nico baby doesn't slow down just yet but with arteezy making an appearance they're finally gonna leave this place and it's all because nice. they've got s4 Probably. i'm not gonna call jakura mid underrated i mean it, it's a, it's a pretty crazy pick but i could see it being underrated just because of this ability to pressure those tier twos. The relocate's gonna come back in. Evil Geniuses, they're looking to fight around this area, and they've got the fresh BKB from Ramses. Hanskin, he's gonna be the first target here. The Dark Rift down from S4 is looking to be able to collect the IO and Nico Baby. Snowball trying to dodge a little bit of time. They actually cancel it. They decide to fight this one. Are they gonna be right, though? An Inkswell stun onto two. Nice Soulbind silence onto two as well, but GPK being controlled up. Laguna Blade trying to jump away from the Pit of Malice. He does jump back to the left-hand side. Nico Baby, meanwhile, hunting down some more heroes. Going for a fly, getting some damage out on Ramsey's evil geniuses. They thought they could take this fight, but Alliance had a nasty trap set up for him. Nico Baby, oh, what a misplay there as evil geniuses thought they could turn on a Nico Baby, but FNG, he pumps up his primary carry in Alliance. Nico Baby is more than healthy enough to be able to run down the rest. This fly is going to be up next, and look at this quick TP reaction into the mid lane. They want to try and keep their mid tower alive during all of this. So, I think going late, as if, if you're EG, you're you're pretty confident. It, it, de it depends on who has the. Here the lead. they come. They're searching. Can they get the LSA? Oh, into the Stormhammer dispel on the Yule Scepter there. The relocate back is going to leave Nico Baby here. He is, but Ramses is too fast anyway. 
Did that he... was an offensive Yules from Lena, right? Did he? Can you target Sven stun during Yules? Yeah, but it's that was Lena's Yules. <laughs> <But> that was <laughs> Lena's Yules. <laughs> that was his friend's Yules. <laughs> yeah, so I was just like, shouldn't he be oh. invulnerable? How, wait, how could you dispel an allied Yules on an? Well, enemy? I think that actually didn't happen. I think he just happened to to come down. You know, I was just thinking like it would be nice to have Blink Dagger on this Sven as well. Just to kind of like bypass all the frontline heroes and see if you can get on top of the Arc Warden, but I'm sure, not sure, sure if you could do that with an IO. I, I also I feel like Sven gets too. Dude, many look at this trap. They're setting up the Tempest double for them to try and fight around it here. Nico, baby, he already jumps in immediately. He's gonna be caught. Look at that damage! Holy smokes! And the old scepter it stops FNG as he came in to try and save Nico, baby. Now they're gonna throw out the Doom because they got the kill. The Wicked Six Streak is given away. Ramses picks it up and they're gonna get an extra kill on S4 as well. A big, big trap set up by evil geniuses and the claws of that trap dig into Alliance and cause some serious casualties. Get the BKB first after that fight. I mean, also, you probably say, let's not kill the Arc Warden clone <laughs> in that particular instance. <laughs> a bunch of heroes, and they got the right one that they needed to. They need to kill S4 as quick as possible to prevent the Dark Ridge, or maybe Alliance can actually win this fight. Never mind. The jump in, the Storm Hammer brings GP Gate down. Almost ain't managed to finish him off, but he Astral steps away. Is he going to be able to TP out? He tries to go for the TP. Looks like he's good for now. Limp is going to die to RTC. That's just the Aegis, though. Evil Genius is a blink away. Managed to dispel off that hammer and get away from him. Uh, Ramses, he's just trucking forward. Has to turn around and go for S4 because of the threat of the Dark Rift. They're going to try and finish him off before he gets away. But a good save by S4. And Tusk Snowball and these disjoints. I don't see how they have any damage on Alliance. I'm seriously concerned for them in this game. They need to get some crazy pickoff. They're beginning to get clamped in here. The Soul Bind onto two. They do manage to get the double Doom out as well. The Ramps is already taking so much damage because God Strength had already gone out. But now it looks like they're just trying to retreat back to the fountain. It looks like S4 is going to be left behind. But GPK with this double damage, he really wants the kill on the Sven. And he's so close to getting it too. But Nico, baby, he dodged away from the Astral Set. They simulate coming in the heel. Coming up from FNG. Now the turnaround, the silence is out onto GPK. And GPK, he stumbled a little bit too far in his hubris. He tries to get the Sven kill, but he's found caught and killed underneath the fountain. And Alliance, they get their chance to respond. Very nice mechanical play from Nico Baby there. The the way he dodged that, running into the trees, dodging the astral step, yep. and then he also dodged the dissimulate as well. Like he had two clutch dodges there. Nico Once Baby again. says it's time to go. They just straight up no doom. It's time, guys. Let's try and take a fight. But he also doesn't have BKB. He's taking so much magic damage. He just dies. Uh, He's dead, and that's a dieback on the Io as well. So they're both out for over a minute. What just happened? Safe. But it, it is EG, so, you know, maybe they'll go for the the more high-risk, high-reward play. Alliance, they know this Roshan's going on. What they may not know is that uh, EG, they just picked up a double damage. GPK immediately going for Limp. Limp, a little bit separated from the rest of the team. They are going to go for the relocate out, but Crit jumps forward and tries to catch some of these backline heroes, and here comes that dude before the God Strength, and before the Suns can be laid out. He gets the Centaur stun in GPK. Oh, oh, they managed so to get close. him just before the Dark Rift could bail him out. FNG, did you see that? He was surrounded by so many spark rays. 14 seconds left on the Sven. And the evil geniuses will manage to take that first lane of barracks of the game. 25,000 net worth up as well. They can't just keep on sieging. They've got all the advantages they could possibly hope for. <laughs> so many <laughs> so many things being dropped on the ground that you can't walk into without taking damage. Ether remnants and spark race everywhere. They kind of have to clear some of them out. That's why you see like yeah. S4 or FNG sometimes pop some of them. Immediately cleansing off the sounds there from GPK, catching him inside of the Pit of Malice, but nobody can really follow up. They have to deal with this Tempest double first, which is going to pop its BKB and focus on the melee barracks. It's dead. Alliance, they've got to find a way. Oh They're going to be under the gun. They're going to be, that timer is going to be picking up a lot faster when a leveler is chopping down your tier three. Yule Scepter, they're off on the side here. The Spark Wraith, they could actually saw some of them. GPK is going to jump in, manage to silence the two of them. But at the same time, they do manage to get the Sven right on top of the Arc Warden. He has no buyback too, so. Already, if Alliance can clean up the rest of these heroes, it'd be fantastic. But it looks like they're a little skittish and going too far forward. As for, probably they should be. Both him and Hanskin are going to be caught here as Ramses is more than strong enough, as is GPK, to be able to run down the rest of these heroes. So they're going to buy back on the Lina. 
Sven wants to be able to go back in. They deal with the Tempest double. Have to deal with that first. GPK, he'll TP out. And the rest of Evil Geniuses is on the run. The relocate. Look how to be able to cut him off at their tracks. Oh, the blink away from Ramses. They're pretty fast, though. Can they catch up to him in time? They can't. If anything, again, they have to be scared of a, a potential turnaround. Crit, you maniac. Yeah, seriously, look at him. Are they're like, they want to They want to go without Arteezy. This feels unnecessary. But they're going to try. Why blinked in? They do have the Doom up. They do have the Double Soulbind. If they can actually get it, but Fly, he gets caught in the process of trying to blink in. He does manage to get off that Double Soulbind, though. The Doom, it's going to go off as soon as the Silence fades away, but he gets stunned up first. The LSA follow up the Ice Path as well. Laguna Blink, can he get it off? He gets off a Centaur Stun, finally turns around. Doom's one. That's going to be on the Sven. Doom two on the Jakiro. A smash to the face, and it looks like the Sven could be taken out, but he's saved by the IO. No, he goes down. It's too much damage. FNG couldn't bail him out. GPK is there to make sure the Sven goes down and they're gonna force that buyback. Crit, looking to be able to stop Nico Baby here with the snowball. Trying to stop that damage onto GPK. GPK, not trying to get out though, stays in with the ink swell. Now decides it's time to leave, but an LSA stun catches them into the Stormhammer stun. They have a little bit more, they do. They've got the Pit of Malice, and now GPK is dead for 100 seconds. Middle tower has fallen. You know, once again, we have the, the formation. You're, they're just sending all these remnants and spirits <laughs> and waves of paint and all of this bullshit up the high ground. Ramses attempts an initiation. Soulbind on to two. Okay, Ramses is going to pop his BKB. See if he can chase down these heroes with inks. Well, they do manage to get the stun on two. Kill on a two. Nope, up buybacks there. A right, Nico, baby. He cuts onto the real Arteezy, but look at him. He's getting ripped apart, and he's got no buyback, and that's just GG. Evil geniuses will win with this Arc Warden strategy. It looks so gross, Jenkins, and so good at the same time. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm yeah, still okay, concerned okay. for the Alliance lineup, and they're now very cooldown reliant. You have both DP and Sven that can get played around. I will say it's a sick Death Prophet game. The like, thing is, EG kind of have to play reactive. You want Alliance mm -hmm. to initiate, you want to kite the spells and just abuse terrain, right? Fortunately, uh, they, they, at least Io is able to make use, uh, efficient use of the regen, but it still is looking really rough. And speaking of rough, GPK continuing to be shoved back. Once again, the stomp being fake, pumped out. Does manage to hit the stomp eventually on a crit, but it's too late. Hanskin has already taken the damage and goes down again. Uh, oh, he's crit. just suiciding. For, he, yeah, he's going to suicide and gets the courier on the way, so. S4 being dove at here with a snowball on him. Magnetic field just to protect. Nice toss back though. Hanskin sees an opportunity to get aggressive onto Arteezy. Arteezy turning to kill S4. Pops the fire fire. Does manage to get the kill on the centaur first. So he collects the experience. I was going to say, Nico, baby, needs some help down here. You do not want to leave a Sven solo versus a Necrophos. That's no. one problem here is that you, you can't leave him alone down here. I mean, he's going to just die to the... To the Reaper Scythe. Hi. I'm going to rotate across, you're going to TP in on limp, and we're just going to go for it here. They're going to pop the exorcism and everything. They need this kill, but they, they have a stun. Telekinesis comes in. They had to use the stampede to give Hanskin the movement speed to get there in the first place. Making but, making these sorts of moves where there's some sort of stalemate going on, it's not good for them, and then they break it. They tend to be good at this. But the problem is, you don't take an objective if you fight in your own safe lane, because it, it's your safe lane. There are no objectives near it to take, and the tower that you can take isn't important. Oh, look at that. They're relocating into mid while uh, they don't have the Ember Spirit here. They're going to try and run down RTZ on this Arc Warden, and they might be able to get the kill, but Nico Babe's going to be in some trouble, especially as the Golem is dropped on top of all that movement speed, trying to get away. The relocate back out. It'll be enough. Nico Baby is put into the saving grace of the IO, but Hanskin, well, he's left alone underneath this tier one tower and will die. Maybe gets the revenge kill against Crit, but no, he gets the tower aggro off of him. Do you think Alliance is doing anything different against EG? No, this seems about the same. Yeah, to me. I mean, that's concerning, right? I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, Sark Warden has his hand of Midas and is still going off. They do get the Fatal Bonds Golem to try and turn things around. The Reaper Scythe is going to go out in the Centaur and does a big boost of damage, getting the kill. But Limp is sitting right on top of Ramses. If he can keep up with him, they upheaval, though. It's slowing everybody down so damn much. Nico Baby isn't really able to help out, so Limp's just going to have to do it all by himself. A silence, and that's going to be enough to be able to get the kill on Ramses. Turning that damage now onto the mid-tier one, GPK. Looks to be able to poke at them enough that they won't be able to continue to go for that push, but it's just not enough. This death ball, a little bit too strong. They get the mid tower. 
I mean, I guess they have Ember Spirit. I was just like, ah, they just use Golem and stuff, but they they're just gonna keep going because Alliance, they already used Exorcism, then we already used Gone Strength, and if they can catch Limp here, what a beautiful Ice Shards. That's gonna be able to lock him in, allow the rest of Evil Geniuses to funnel in, but no, a good save from S4. Managed to catch two. Limp is gonna still fight in this as he had the double Spirit Siphon. Nico Baby comes in without his Gone Strength, just only a stun right now. FNG trying to heal him up, does heal him up to full, but he's still slow, slow down by those upheaval. It's just nasty. FNG dancing away from some of the damage, trying to keep Nico Baby alive, but he just can't. And S4, who jumped back in to try and save his carry, is gonna die as well. It does a lot of damage to Ramses, but he's being healed, kept alive by the Warlock. Limp is still gunning for it, but Alliance, they come in again and again and again to try and save and get kills, and it's just not working. They've overcommitted now, and they're gonna lose their entire team as a result. All because they wanted Ramses, all because they wanted to save this mid lane. Yeah, you can see it right there. The win probability, it doesn't feel that different from game one, Jenkins. In fact, in, in many ways, it feels worse because I felt like Alliance was ahead at 20 minutes. And here, it's Evil Geniuses ahead. They're going to relocate down to the bottom lane. They do have the help of the Stampede to be able to run over Arteezy here. Get on top of him, get inside the bubble, and start swinging. Arteezy trying to get saved here, but no, S4 is there. Man, you get the stomp. Nico, baby. They actually leave him behind, not tethering up to him. He's going to try and fight it out, but the BKB is worn out now. He could just be Reaper Scythe. Ramses is going to go for it, gets it off just in time before Limp can stop it. Limp starts putting out some damage onto Ramses. Ramses, though, getting the heal off of the kill, plus the Essence Ring, plus the Warlock. He is not an easy target to bring down, but eventually he will get caught. He will go down, and they're going to be able to catch one more. It's going to be Crit trying to hide in the trees, trying to TP out but a good Yule Scepter puts a stop to that. Good play from Alliance. Just as we said, with the Naganum Scepter, they can maybe turn this game around. Apparently, they don't even need it. And they have all their Tier 2s up, too, on Alliance. So you can, you know, if you, if you, if you take one Tier 2 right now, you can just take the Outpost. Smoke in, Nico baby. He needs that opening. Somebody give him the vision. He tries to go straight into Ramses. Looks like with the magic damage, they're gonna be able to pop him. Chris gonna be up next. Snowball buys him just a little bit of time here. Going on to limp, but obviously he's very unlikely to make it out. Maybe he is. Fly's gonna turn around. Oh, the fatal boss, and look at that damage. The support's just getting wiped out almost instantly. And Limp, he's taking a whole heap of damage here. Nico Baby's gonna turn around. Not scared of GPK one bit. FNG coming back in. He bought back. He relocated back in. And he's gonna die back with that. And Limp's gonna go down as well. He couldn't even save his core. He can't save Nico Baby either. He's kited to infinity. Crit running literal circles around Alliance as Arteezy gets the ultra kill to wipe Alliance for the second time in this game. game like these heroes alone can carry a game in the late game. Yeah. And then the Arc Warden with the Blink Dagger, I think that's a really interesting pickup. If a good rock comes out, he can blink in. He can also blink the back lines like this and put so much pressure. Here comes GPK. Gonna be able to lock down the two of them. S4 struggling to be able to get the jump that he wanted. Ooh, but they caught Arteezy. Can they get him a second time here? They're gonna have to wait out this Aegis, but Nico Baby still has the BKB. They're trying to go for the Snowball save. Instead, he blinks away. Arteezy is able to get a little bit farther out now. He's gonna be Waller's Punch up in the air. Nico Baby's holding on to his BKB for now. Now pops it, starting to go for Ramses, but Ramses heals up pretty quickly, and they gotta deal with this damn upheaval. It is killing everybody's mobility, including Hanskin, who is gonna be left behind. He's gonna be the target of the Reaper's Scythe, because Ramses said, bye God, I'm gonna use it on somebody here. Oh man, he's dead for a hundred seconds. I think that was yeah. a yeah, that was a, a that was a dieback into Reaper Sight. Yeah, you just when you've been playing when you've been like crit and you've been you know near the top of the game for quite some time. You know, at some point in time, you figure you, you probably practice a little less serious. You probably grind a little less. Nice initiation here from S4, trying to blow up this tusk as quick as possible. But on the high ground here, they do have to relocate coming in from the Sven, but it looks like they're not going to help out with the rest of the lines. They actually were chasing somebody else. Now they come back in. S4, was he bailed out there? The Reaper side, it wasn't enough to be able to kill him or something there, but they do have the stun coming in from Nico, baby, putting in some work, trying to save by the magnetic field, and it looks like that was just enough. They get the damage onto the Sven, he goes down, and Arteezy, he seems to reign supreme. Some of the EG members got a little bit low, but in the end, Arteezy stood strong, healthy, and just wiped out Alliance. There's nobody alive, nobody with buyback, pretty much, and uh, well, this is looking like a, a swifter end to game two here, Jenkins. They don't even have the tier two, they're just walking high ground. Ember Spirit, Maelstrom, Arc Warden, two Maelstroms flying around. These fights are chaos, but when you have the Warlock on your team, I think you favor fights being chaos. Then again, you could say the same thing about Death Prophet, too. <laughs> Look at those spirits. All right.
Who wants to walk through that? All right, S4. <laughs> That's like 2,500 magic damage or something. Probably more. Do your job, S4. Go out there. <laughs> Look at the support center. I'm not going through that. And she's like, Hanson, you go through that. Nico Baby's like, I'm going to TP out, and so is the rest of the team. They're all going to TP out here. Sven Sun leading off onto the Necrophos. Aeon Disc is going to get popped here at the same time. They do manage to get the lockdown on the Ember Spirit. Not too bad, but they're not focusing on the same targets. But Nico Baby got the most important target of all. That's Arteezy. This time around, they threaten him, and look at what a difference it made in these team fights. FNG, oh no, don't tell me he's going to die. No, he heals up. He's good. He's not going to die to that last Necrophos new crit spotted. The vision is given, and they get a third kill there. You have to have an Arc Warden on your team, as well as the Spark Wraiths, just to defend the pit. I mean, they're oh, giving yeah. constant vision. Jeez, look at him go, man. It's just, this is insane. But look at Alliance wrapping around like this, and they may actually catch Evil Geniuses a bit off. They're going to run into Crit, run into GPK. They're going to pop it. God straight. Two man stun. Up from S4 with the Storm Amber on to three. That's going to be a big one. Can they finish off Arteezy? He's dead. Reaper Scythe comes in, takes out S4. That's a dieback. He's dead for two minutes almost, but a one fight for Alliance, no doubt. The bounce back there of the Storm Hammer stun, but Ramses, you know he's going to be run down. Eventually. Oh, he's stolen Reaper Scythe, making it look that much better for Alliance. Running, chasing him down. Fly, going to be caught as well. Three shot quite easily. GPK up next but it's very hard to catch him with the Aghanim Scepter Octarine Core that he has. Uh, he's going to be able to get away fine, but that's a buyback from Arteezy. That is a win condition that just opened up for Alliance. Uh-oh. Oh. Maybe don't get caught here. Don't get chained. Ooh. Oh, God, but th th they might just get caught by this. They know there's no Sven. That's why GPK is playing super aggressive. That's why FNG goes for that very defensive relocate back out. Now, are they going to relocate back into this spark rate damage? I don't think they're going to bring uh, Limp in, that's for sure. It looks like Io's probably just going to instantly bye. die. As uh, can't really get away from all those slows. Again. Especially with this Aegis on Arteezy. Then again, you could argue... Maybe they want to just stall for the Aegis and then kill Arteezy. But by the time... Who has the Magic Lamp? Because it was on the Ember Spirit, and now he's picked up the Spell Prism. So I, I need to know who has that extra save. The Ember Spirit, he got caught up with the Reaper Sight. The Snowball save, though. It came in, and now Alliance is grouped up. And a giant hit from GPK as he is putting out the damage back and forth with those remnants. They've lost their IO in exchange for a Tusk, but S4 is super low. Can they catch him? Managing to blink away. He's trying to run. Looks like he's going to get out. Ramsey stumbles a little bit forward here. Nico, baby. They're going for Arteezy. He needs the vision, though. Do they have it? He sits the magnetic field onto the side. Can they get on top of him with the Necrophos? They got him with enough damage here. That's going to be life number one. One, but they can't stick around. The Reaper Scythe is coming out. The Death Prophet doesn't die to it just yet. Nico Baby coming back in. S4 with the stomp. On to three. Hits the Tempest double as well. Nico Baby's going for it. He's going for Arteezy, but he doesn't have the damage. No! Arteezy pumps it out too much. He gets the Ultra Kill. He gets the Rampage. It's not over yet, though. Alliance have the buybacks. They may have just rampaged on Arteezy, but he still has no buyback. I'm surprised Crick didn't buyback, though. He was just confident in his team. It's like, ah, oh, there, he's fine. Arteezy's yeah. he's fine. What a massive counterplay, though. Death Prophet, Yule Sceptered up here. That damn Tempest double. They're holding on to Nico Baby's buyback, waiting for them to overextend. It looks like maybe this is the time, but GPK has already popped his BKB, and he's already taken out the cores. Both Limp and S4 are going to die to that assault from GPK with They're a little bit of backup from Arteezy. And you know they want to end this game in style. There is nobody left to help. Old Nico, baby, Arteezy diving into the fountain with the rest of their boys, and it will be a 2-0 to Evil Geniuses.